Hi everyone, I'm May Kay Beeler in Akron, the home of Goodyear, and we're going to address some questions that we pilots and aircraft owners need to know about our aviation tires. And Larry Rapsart is here to help us. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you for having us, Larry. And Larry, you are an expert in this field. Tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, I designed aircraft tires for Goodyear for about 15 years. Now I'm currently product support manager for General Aviation Tires. You're the man I need to talk to. Okay, we've got some frequently asked questions that have come through the AOPA Pilot Information Center, so let's get started. Okay. Uh, you know, none of us want to replace a tire before we have to, so how many cords or how much fabric can I see on my tire before I have to replace it? Uh, if you wait until you see cord, you've really waited too long. Goodyear recommends removing the tire if you've worn to the bottom of the groove in any one spot. Uh, wearing a tire down to the fabric really can be dangerous. There are certain applications where it's okay, like uh, in uh, some military applications are actually designed so you can wear down into the fabric. Uh, but for general aviation tires, uh, going down to fabric is much too far. Okay. Is there some type of helpful reference manual I can refer to? Uh, yeah, you can look at our care and maintenance manual. It's, uh, you can download it free online from uh, GoodyearAviation.com. All right. So what's preferable for my tire, compressed air or nitrogen? You can use either nitrogen or air. If you have a piston engine aircraft, most likely you have tube type tires. You won't get much of a benefit from nitrogen uh, with a tube type tire. If you have tubeless tires, you can use nitrogen to help with uh, wheel corrosion. You need to make sure you keep on using nitrogen though to get the full benefit of it. Can I retread my tires? A lot of aircraft tires out there are retreadable, uh, commercial aviation tires and military tires. We don't design our general aviation tires to be retreaded, so we really don't recommend retreading those tires. All right, so here's a question I wonder about. A lot of folks are asking this. How old is too old for a tire, whether it's sitting in storage or on my airplane? There is no shelf life for Goodyear aircraft tires. We do recommend that you inspect them, though. I should pull them out of storage and use them. You can find uh, information on our uh, Goodyear Care and Maintenance Manual that you find online on GoodyearAviation.com. Uh, look for uh, cuts, cracks, any kind of damage uh, before you use the tire. Also, try to use a first in, first out method in, in your inventory. That's just good practice. Now, you know, my father always told me to rotate my tires on my car. So, do I do it on the airplane? If you are experiencing uneven wear on your tires, where it's wearing more on one side than the other, uh, you can take the tire off the wheel, flip it around, put it back on the same wheel and continue to use it. Just make sure you didn't reach your wear limits before you took the tire off. Also, you need to make sure that you find out why you're getting uneven wear. For some aircraft, that's just the way the tires wear. Uh, it could be uh, under inflation or a gear alignment issue. You should have your mechanic check that out. You know, when it comes to flat spotting the tire, I see it all the time at the flight school. Oh, but I never see it on cars. How come? Well, if you compare an aircraft tire to a passenger tire, uh, the aircraft tire can, carries a, a significantly higher load, uh, higher speeds. Also, when you're uh, in an airplane, once you hit the brakes, if you stop rotating your tires, sometimes it's hard to tell. Uh, if you're in a car and you hit the brakes hard enough to stop the tires, you can hear it screeching. Uh, but you may not notice it if you're uh, coming in for a landing. That's really good advice. But let me ask you now, how do we prevent flat spotting our tires? A uh, number of things you can do as a pilot. Uh, come in at as slow a speed as you possibly can, land at the right spot of the runway. Make sure you use uh, aerodynamic braking to slow down a little bit first. Uh, you don't need to try and slow down quick and take the first turn off. So a friend of mine ordered tires off the internet and his mechanic said, uh-uh, I'm not putting those on. They're not certified for your aircraft. Well, how can I tell? Uh, what you need to do is make sure you follow your aircraft maintenance manual. Put the tires on that are recommended in that manual. Uh, for FAA certificated aircraft, you have to put TSO tires on. All Goodyear aircraft tires have uh, TSO approvals. It's molded right into the sidewall. Now, what about light sport aircraft? They kind of have different rules? That is a little bit different. Uh, you don't need to have a TSO tire on that aircraft, but you do need to make sure to put a tire on that the manufacturer specifies. And what about those big, large flotation tires? You know, I want to put Tundra tires on my small airplane. Is it legal? You still need to follow what's listed in your aircraft maintenance manual. Uh, for the AOPA sweepstakes Husky, in that manual, everything's listed up to a 31-inch bush wheel tire. Uh, but if you don't have that listed in your manual, you need to get an FAA uh, 337 field approval uh, or an STC approval. All right, there was a pilot that needed six ply tires for his aircraft, but he bought eight ply tires thinking, well, that's even safer. Is that correct? Does that make sense? Uh, we really don't recommend it. He should still put the same tires on that are listed in his manual. 
Uh, for general aviation tires, between a 6-ply and an 8-ply, most likely is just differences in the bead. Helps a little bit with uh, heavier loads and pressures, but they're re really not getting the advantage out of an 8-ply tire that they're paying for. So they should put on the tire that's recommended. You can find the answers to all of your aviation tire questions in Goodyear's Aircraft Tire Care and Maintenance Manual. Download it for free at www.goodyearaviation.com.